So yeah, so I've already had a go at uh, getting this one out because I wanted to see what was wrong with it. So I've already undone the case screws now. I screwed down the screw down the bottom there, which I had to undo. Um, I have actually taken this apart, and uh, behind here, it's actually blown all the socket away, and there's bits of a capacitor everywhere. It's um, yeah, and if you can smell, if this is a smell of vision, you'd smell that smells terrible. It's it's really gone uh, quite bad. I've never had that before in the 25 years I've been doing computers. I've never had a power supply expire on me like that. So, well that was an FSX power supply because you can see this, this, is, this is a um, small form factor case. So my friend very kindly lent me his ATX power supply because so unfortunately I gave mine all away. But as you can see, <laughs> that isn't going to fit, is it? So I'm effectively going to have an external power supply. So I'm just going to sit it on the side. Because really I want to test to see if anything else is blown up in here. Because I'm hoping it hasn't damaged the motherboard or any of my hard drives. So um, my next task is to feed this bundle of cables in and connect it up to the motherboard. So um, I'll come back um, when I've done that. Because you probably don't want to see me feed all the cables through. Um, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to sit that to the side and as you've got oh, extra long cables I'm just going to feed them into the back and use the ones I want to use uh, and discard the rest. So um, I'll come back when I've got that a little bit neater. Right then, so I've got to go at feeding this through. It's not as long, these cables aren't as long as I hoped they would be. So I've got a bit of a, got a bit of an issue over there. I don't know how, this is obviously not going to be long term. This is just to see, because if I've blown anything else in the motherboard in the case, then I'm, well, I'll probably end up buying a new machine or building something else. So I don't want to buy, because FFX power supplies are quite expensive. So I don't want to buy a new power supply if everything else is shot. Um... God, it's incredibly dusty in this machine. Oh, um, I think I might run the Hoover over that before I start it up. Um, God, that is dusty. Right, okay, where are we? Right, so I'm putting the main motherboard connector in first. If I can get it unjammed from these other connectors, there we go. So there's a big 24 pin job in here. Oh, they make these things really awkward to get to. We are on. Just press that in. Requires a bit of force because it got the clip on it. Uh -huh. Yep, that's in. Oh. Um, and I've got this four pin connector down here to connect up. Right, that's just a temperature sensor. This one is the main, this is a header cable. There we go, that one's in. Right, so all I've got now is connect the power to the PSU. And, uh, well, <laughs> you'll find out as soon as I do if I have any, if I had a dead, dead machine or not. Okay, just reposition you slightly. Right, okay, so I am now plugged in and powered on on the PSU. My power is on to my monitor. Time to hit the start button and stand well back because I have <laughs> I've already been scared once by this machine, so I'll see what happens this time. Okay, we've got a spinning fan. Yeah, no boost because I haven't powered the boot devices yet, so that's fine. Okay, well, it looks like I got away with this. Um, so I'm going to power off now and then plug in the uh, my boot devices. And um, yes, so let me see if I can find the SATA cables on here. Where's the SATA power cables? Hopefully I've got a couple. 
There we go. So that looks like it's this one here. Yep. Yeah, this, this power supply is so old, it's got still got Molex on it, so... But, uh, there we go. Alright, there's my boot drop. There we go. And plug the data back in. There we go. And plug this one back in. Okay, there we go. Slide that in up there. Right, let's go for another take. Tell you what, my friend's old power supply is a lot quieter than mine was. <laughs> Looks like we're posting. We've posted. Am I going to see my Linux desktop? It's got a flashy thing at the moment. That doesn't look too promising, does it? Mm. That's normally boot by now, so yeah, something's not right there, is it? Going to post and see if we can detect a hard drive. Right. Uh, right, welcome back. Uh, it turns out that for some reason, the moment maybe I put the cables in the wrong way around, or maybe it wiped the bias, but it had reversed the boot option, so it was trying to boot off my. It was trying to boot off my data drive rather than my boot drive. <laughs> Heaven knows why it was doing that. But it looks like I've got away with it. It looks like I've got a working PC, which is amazing, considering the drama I had yesterday. Um, Yeah, so it looks like I've, um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lost its magnified screen because I don't see very well, but, um, yeah. So it looks like I'm going onto Amazon and ordering myself for SFX power supply so that I don't have to use an external power supply, which, is, which effectively that is now. Um, so I'll close down. I mean, I think I might run a uh, hoover over that fan because I can't believe how much dust is in there. So again, it is, I mean, this is a six-year-old machine. Um, the only thing I've done to it since I built it, because I built it back in 2013, um, I've put extra RAM in it because it was four gig and I've taken it to eight. I've changed the hard drives, apart from the boot drives, the original, but I've changed the data drive. Um, and that's all I've done in six years. Um, it's a Core i3-3225 with onboard graphics. Um, yeah, it's done me all right for the, for the, for the time. I've um, also got a flower cooler fan because I want a quieter PC. Um, but yeah, yeah it's, it's done me all right. Um, but yes, I'm going to have to replace this, the PSU. I'm not thinking about getting a new PC anyway because six years, six years is, you know, is, a, uh, is a long time. I was thinking of getting one of those um, Ryzen chips. So. Yeah, still might do that, but um, at least I can rescue this machine, so I'm very happy with that. So that's good, so that's how to repair your P PC. I don't know how much that would have cost at a PC repair shop, but um, like I said, the PSU is on loan to a friend of mine. Um, so it's cost me nothing to test it, so all I've got to do is put everything back together again and... Uh, Oh, try and get rid of some of this dust. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.